lack of sleep, crappy diet, bad workout plan, beginners looking for the reason they aren't growing, not enough BCA. <laughs> Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. My name is Isaiah from Player Development. Today we're going to be reacting to gym memes. So let's see what that's all about. Before we jump into the memes, make sure you check out the Triangle Shooters. That's the team that I play with right now. Uh, we're playing semi-professional ball and our season just got started. We're 1-0 right now. Make sure to tune in. All the games are live streamed. And if you're looking to get tickets for a home game here in Williamsburg, go ahead and DM me or message me. Of course, as the channel is growing, really appreciate your support. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and that helps our channel to continue growing and continue making good content. All right, let's jump into it. My antisocial ass deciding whether I should ask for a spot or risk my life for a PR. Yeah, sometimes asking for a spot is an awkward thing, but man, that can seriously save lives. There are just too many videos around where somebody's trying to max out, whether on a squat or a bench press, and then they just get stuck and they have to bail, and it just looks super unsafe. Seriously, someone could get hurt, and it's worth the social anxiety to ask for a spot. Me taking a rest day after two consecutive days of heavy squatting and deadlifting. My lower back. It's quiet too quiet <laughs> i'll say this about that your lower back should not be straining when whether you're squatting or deadlifting so if this is happening to you this might actually be a sign that you need to retool your form a little bit i know personally um, i had some problems with my lower back that i had to deal with and i talked through the steps of how i dealt with that lower back pain in a separate video yeah if you're properly bracing your core you should not be putting extra strain on your lower back, whether you're squatting or deadlifting. All right, let's see here. I finally found it after 15 years, the scroll of truth. If you have lower back pain after squats and deadlifts, you're doing something wrong. <laughs> hey, this is just what we were talking about, right? If you have lower back pain, you are doing something wrong. It's not a back exercise and it should not be hurting. And that I think that's a misconception about lifting in general. You feeling sore or hurting afterwards is not the sign that you're making progress. It may be a sign if you're feeling sore that your body's recovering after doing some work that's out of its normal comfort zone. That's That doesn't have to happen for you to be making progress. But yeah, a lot of guys don't want to hear that feedback that they're doing something wrong and may have to start over from scratch to rebuild their squat or their deadlift. So that's what happens. Okay, class, today we will be learning about increments of 45. Jim bros, the expert. <laughs> yeah, there's something about that. Once you've been lifting weights for a while, the math just makes sense that as you add 45s and 45s and stuff. It's it's funny how that happens because at first it makes no sense. You'd think it'd be easier in increments of like 50 or whatever, but then suddenly it just clicks and you can do all that mental math in your head without any issue. All right, let's see. Lack of sleep, crappy diet, bad workout plan, beginners looking for the reason they aren't growing. Not enough BCA. <laughs> yeah, people always looking for the simple solutions, right? I was talking about this with DJ in one of our other videos talking about recovery. Like people want the quick fix. People want the supplement or the recovery tool. This is the new thing that's going to make everything click and suddenly your gains will go through the roof. But yeah, sleep, diet, having a good plan, those are essentials for making progress continuously. So yeah, absolutely. Got to make sure that we don't ignore the basics. And I would also add making sure you're using good form when you're lifting to a lot of this stuff. Gym tip two, oh, with the hulky Christian Bale. If you don't see results after the first day of lifting, use anabolic steroids. <laughs> don't use steroids. There are a whole bunch of side effects that come with that. But yeah, I mean, the attitude is about right, right? Like everyone wants to see those results right away after like going to the gym for the first time lifting. You feel great and then nothing looks different. That stuff comes over time and it takes a lot of work. It takes consistency, which I think is a difficult thing here, is that we don't want to be patient to see the results. Again, have the quick fix, steroids, or you know, whatever else it might be. And in this circle, we torture those who left their water bottle on a bench they weren't using anymore. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is the worst. Okay, so right now I work out at home. 
So I've got a home gym. So that's not a problem for me. But yeah, absolutely. When the gym is busy and you know you leave your water bottle or your phone somewhere, that's like an indication that you're coming back to that spot. But like some people leave their phone here, their keys there, and then they're actually using some other piece of equipment somewhere else. I was like, you can't reserve that much real estate. Sometimes they forget to move it. And then people who are trying to be nice and respectful are not going to use that bench because it looks like it's reserved and someone's coming back to it. That's just taking up other people's time and their space that they could be using for their routine. So I remember during some of the busiest times going to the rec center or whatever, trying to lift, and then they only had one squat rack at the time. So if you were stuck behind somebody who was doing five sets and resting for like two or three minutes in between, you were in for a long wait. So one of the things, one of the terms that you can throw around is working in, which means when they're doing their rest period, you can go in and do your exercise using the same equipment. That could be a little cumbersome if you're moving a lot of weights around and all of that, but that might be a quicker way to get your workout in. All right, so those were the memes. Go ahead and send me any more that you think are funny. Uh, there's really some craziness that you can see sometimes and we haven't even begun to scrape the surface. So this was really fun for me to do. Again, like and subscribe. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more content like this, those subscriptions really help the channel to grow. So appreciate that in advance. Again, if you wanna check out our games as we're full on into the season now, Go to the link in the description below and you can always check out the live stream games from there. As always, tune in, check out what we're doing. See you all next time.